Oh my god, I hate the whole hairstyle. Good morning, we are getting ready. It is 6.51. So I already showered and my hair was slicked down from yesterday because I meant to do this hairstyle yesterday and I didn't. So I'm doing the hairstyle today and hopefully it comes out good because I got a flight to catch. So we're starting off with the body care routine. My skin has already been done because I didn't wash my face this morning because it didn't need to be washed. I don't wash my face every single morning. I rinsed my eyes. I put on this hyaluronic acid for moisture and then the SPF, this one is in, is free and it goes on without a white cast. Now before I put on my lotion, as you can see, there's still some moisture just sitting right here because I use the Olay in shower body conditioner keeps the skin hydrated so I don't feel dry I'm a lotion in a second you know I don't like I don't, I don't do dry skin but this is a whole airport get ready with your routine I'll talk more about what I'm going to do when I get to the makeup portion right now I'm gonna do what I normally do with my armpits is to make sure that I have no odor my body sweats and I'm not the only one what I like to do is use an AHA or a BHA on my armpits and to make life easier I'll use facial pads on my armpits this one is from elements that is not for it is for the face but because it clears out the bacteria in your pores that cause acne on your face. It's gonna clear out the bacteria in your pores, on your armpits, and help to make sure that you don't have any body odor. So like I always tell you, I do this in the front and the back, okay? Get all that together, dry yourself off. For lotion, I'm still working my way through these Josie Marin Body Butters. They are so good. This is the scent, Topless Tangerine. I like the vanilla one a lot better, but this one's really good. And then to top everything off, I'm gonna use this Brown Sugar Bay Body Oil. This scent is mad on my love it. It smells like money. And yes, my body feels creamy. Yes, there's a beautiful shine. And this. This is how my scent is gonna last all freaking day. And on an airplane, <laughs> no matter where I am, I wanna look and feel and smell good. Okay. And preliminarily, before I put my clothes on, did my whole fragrance, we're gonna do this fragrance mist from Fleur called Amber Haze. So freaking good. Again, lay it on. This one just reminds me of my Rouge 540. So good. And now let's do hair and makeup. I've done this look before with this wig and I don't remember how I did it. So I literally had to call my sister and be like, yo, how do you do that half wig look again? So yesterday I already did this. I dyed my hair. I put half in, half down the back, half up in the top with gel and got to be glue, okay? And then I just tied it down to go to bed. And here we are. Let's just be a little bit professional and put this cap in the back, although this is not a requirement. Like what? You got this huge comb in the front to secure the top. We're gonna just shove it in here. I took it off to crisscross the bra straps in the back to make it a little bit tighter. So here we are, clipping this back on. I'm so annoyed because I know that originally I was supposed to take the hair to the front and make the bun, but then I'm reminded that I don't like how that looks. So right now, I just went and found this braiding hair that I had. Thank God I had this braiding hair, right? And uh, I could do a braid. Let me do it as a twist because the hair is wavy in the back, like whatever. And I'm gonna make a bun out of this. I hope that this hair is not too uh, poofy. I hope the bun is not too huge. We'll see. Girl, I'm just making it work right now. Mm, 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 mm. I just need this to wrap around and look decent. You feel what I'm saying? Like, come on, that's it. Ooh, hi. Oh crap. Oh my God, I hate the whole hairstyle. Okay, not me figuring this hair out as I go. Okay, so I took my hair and then the braiding hair and I'm going to, what am I, what am I gonna do? I don't know, am I gonna twist it? Okay, let's twist it together, I guess. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Yo, doing all of this on the morning of my flight is bananas. Zero out of 10 stars would not advise. I did it, I did something. The bun is not too humongous and that's perfect. Okay, so the half wig is a standalone and then the bun is a standalone. Oh my God. Okay, I did something. Now we can do makeup. I just filled my hairline in with this topic, fill me in hair filler, and I feel like I took too much, but it'll all come together when I do my makeup because the edges end up doing a little something, something, and a two and a two, you feel me? It looks really dark. We're gonna fix that, okay? Here's Laura Mercier Weightless Foundation. Okay, so Brown Sugar Babe, they're a fragrance company, and it's a black-owned brand. They've got body oils. I think they have body creams. I've just used the body oils. They've got original scents, and they also have scents that are inspired by a lot of the fragrances that we love and might have or may not have. I worked with them several times last year and they're having an event in New York and they're flying me out first class to go to the event and I'm so excited about it. So this is my first brown trip wave event and it's gonna be a quick, cute trip, two days, and I'm looking forward to it because I have so many of the oils. I've talked to y'all about them so many times. This is not a sponsored video. I feel like I have to say that because it might sound like one. I'm just doing the chit chat, get ready with me. And of course, just talking with you about why I like to get dressed to go to the airport because it's important to me. We'll get to all that, right? So the event is tomorrow and I'm 
excited I'm flying in today. My flight's at 12. I'm glad it's at 12 because normally I do early morning flights and I'd be mad freaking tired, hello? Although I like to get to my destinations early, it's good that this one is later because what in the world? It's just more easy for me. So right now it's 727. I've been getting ready for a long time. I do recognize that. <laughs> my hair gave me a little hiccup and I'm just like, what? I almost felt like I had to go shower and then do my hair all over again, but I don't have time for that. This is actually gonna be nice because they're gonna have someone teach us in the audience how to really layer it on. You feel what I'm saying? Cause you know, I do what I do, but maybe there's more of a science to all of this, which I look forward to learning more about. And then of course meeting the owner, the founder, the creator of the brand, Makeda. I've never met her in person, but I'm excited to be able to do that. And of course, who doesn't want to go visit New York? Like, hello? So this is wicked exciting. This is the Fenty Wear Even Concealer. And I'm glad that in New York is not going to be cold. You feel what I'm saying? I'm so used to going to the cold, like Fashion Week was mad cold. And I'm from Rhode Island. I'm used to all that cold and I don't like it. Used to does not mean like, I do not like that. So I'm glad it's going to be 60s, 80s. You feel me? And I'm leaving here. Houston is in the 90s. So it's good. I'm not going to love it and get hives because it's mad cold outside because that be happening to me, girl. When I go from extreme hot to extreme cold weather, vice versa, here I am with hives. Like how and why? I have flown first class. This is my second time. Third time. <laughs> my third time but yo it's exciting still it's exciting still because how often do you get to fly first class like what i'm gagged i'm excited i do however like to pretend like i belong here because i do i do belong although it's very unusual it's exciting things for sure i like to get dressed when i go to the airport because one people treat me very differently when i am dressed up i noticed that and i've noticed that all my life and i love the way that i get treated with respect and quite frankly a little bit of reverence too when i'm dressed because i'm not one to play with. Don't take me for granted. You feel what I'm saying? You get a lot further when you look like someone who's important. And I've talked about this before and I'm gonna continue because I see it, I feel it, and I appreciate it. Why not take advantage of what we can that is at our fingertips? And it doesn't have to be a full face of makeup like I'm about to do right now, but just something to just wake you up. Now, if you're the kind of person who likes to travel comfortably with a, just, just a hoodie and sweatpants and all that kind of stuff, do you. If you're the kind of person that wants to do sweatpants and a full face of makeup, do you. If you wanna do skincare and go find somewhere to sit down, then do you, you feel what I'm saying? I'm just sharing what I like to do and it makes me feel great one time this one white older man was like wow i like your eyelashes and i was like thank you and i just get lots of looks and you could just you know when you're in the lounge and you know you're around sick guy four and look at you like oh hi she must be someone important and important i am you know yes i am very much important to myself and to my lord <laughs> i like to look that way it makes me feel good it makes me confident and i know that no matter what happens i'll be taken seriously okay and i tend to look really young anyway so without makeup it's giving are you 25 are you 20 you know which i like i love that what who doesn't want to look youthful excuse me however when i do need to assert my age and authority it needs to all match <laughs> i'm laughing because there have been times it's funny it's funny but it works okay this is the ly as the contour. So tonight when I land, I'm supposed to go to Zena and I'm vlogging. So you may have already seen the vlog by now. Maybe not, you know, check out that vlog. Packed a few cute outfits just in case. And then I have my look for tomorrow, obviously. And then my flight is really early on Friday. It Cosmetics brush to blend. Uh, LIS is so funny. They be my DM. They, they call it a bronze tour. Did I miss that? Is this called a bronze tour? That's what they told me. Anyway, I like it because it's a bronzer, but on me, it'd be a contour. So bronze tour does make sense. You feel me? I feel like Brown Sugar Baby is gonna give me more body oils. And let me tell you, I have so many. Every time I have a guest over, I'm like, yo, you gotta smell these oils. And then they want to take them. And it's like, yo, I only have one of each. So if I give you one, then I'm not going to be able to experience that one that I just gave you. You feel me? And I have not used all of them, obviously, because there's so many. And I like to put them on after I apply my, my lotion like I did today. But when I'm on vacation and it's real hot outside, I will definitely do my body wash. Uh, maybe my Olay in shower body oil. And then when I get out, I'll do the brown sugar babe nourishing oil because the scent is so strong, it lingers so well. I'll put that all over the body and then that'll be it because it's so hot and girl, the skin be glistening, it be smelling good. You can't beat it. You gotta layer, you gotta layer, okay? I'ma learn the whole art of layering today, but in general, just know that you gotta layer, you know? How's the hairline looking? Crazy, okay, let's keep working and it'll all come together. This is the Makeup Forever translucent powder under my eyes. As far as outfits are concerned for the airport, I always be in such a tangled web when I think about that because here's the thing, my armpits perspire at the drop of a dime and nowhere else in my body would be hot, right? And my armpits would be sweating. So there's that issue. And then even if it's mad hot outside, I'd be feeling really cold on the inside of any building. So then it's like, okay, I need to make sure that I'm warm for the airplane, especially because it'd be 
freezing. But then it's like, I got to make sure that I'm not too warm because then I'd be mad hot. Because sometimes on an airplane, all of a sudden, I start feeling mad hot. So I have a fan in my carry, my personal item. And then I have my blanket. So it's the blanket that we, your arms can go through and then it goes over you. I have that. And then I decided for the first time, I'm going to wear a sleeveless vest on the flight because then I can get my air, get some air in my arms. You feel what I'm saying? Like a bird. But also look presentable, professional, because even that, that's also in style too, those vests. It's going to be open though. And I'll put a top underneath and then some loose slacks type pants and then sneakers. So it's a little bit dressed, not really that vibe. Okay. You'll see. And I'm doing sneakers because you know how sometimes you gotta walk a lot in the airport. I can't stand all of that. And I don't like my feet being all dry after a long flight. Mm mm, baby. Let's cover these heels up, okay? And the comfort is key because airport walking, like what? This is the glowish luminous highlighter, which they're closing this company down, which makes me so sick because I love this. Like, hi and why? Huda, why? Uh huh. Just wondering. Easy bake, snatched and baked. This is cinnamon bun. And I'm taking a car service to the airport, which is great. Not to worry about waiting for the shuttle. Again, more reasons to sweat. I'm not going to have that. Yo, I cannot. Oh, and this fan that I have, I love it. It's very powerful. You'll see it in my vlog. It is so powerful. What? It's like a little Dyson. It's cute from Amazon. Blow me right down because it's summertime too. No, we are not playing these games at all ever. But what do you normally wear to the airport? Are you normally, it's early. I'm trying to be comfortable. Don't know, I'm not doing makeup, I'm not doing this. And if you're wondering too, if you, so comment and let me know. Secondly, if you're wondering too, does my skin get a reaction from wearing makeup on the airplane? Absolutely not. Even during COVID when you had to wear masks, I was wearing makeup on the airplane and I was fine. Praise God. So I never had any issues with breakouts. Now, does my face get a little bit dry? Yes. And I actually had a, this is the Sephora Micro Smooth a Hydrating Setting Spray that would be in my personal item. I took it out though, because my face naturally produces oils and then it's fine, it's comfortable. But there have been times in the past where I felt like, damn, my face is dry with the makeup. But I mean, normally I don't have that issue. I love this brush because it's just so huge. It covers the whole entire area. Sephora 80 brush. Let's finish this makeup and then get to the outfit because I gotta go. Let's get dressed for the airport. I have these Amazon pants on. Yo, these used to fit me a lot tighter. This is a large and they're a lot looser now. Well, the nice thing is that it's a little cargo dressy situation. So I look dressed up, even though that's not the whole entire vibe that I'm going for. Like I'm going for dress, but not really. Dress, but casual, you feel what I'm saying? This bodysuit is a medium from Amazon as well. So on these Converse's, the Converse's are meant to make it look more casual. And then this vest that I also got from Amazon. I'm gonna do my usual jewelry suspects. And I've been in love with this Utanka fragrance. Oh my gosh, so good. So again, layered on top of our body cream, our brown sugar baby body oil. Spray the hair too because, excuse me, why not? Girl, we spray it everywhere. You gonna smell me, okay? And then this bag from Amazon, which I've had for a while, is the Louis V. Deep situation. I feel good, I look like dressy casual, you know what I'm saying, a little mix. I'm gonna throw some shades on. And then we're out, let's catch this first class flight. <laughs> 